Good morning and welcome back to Life Connect. It's great to have you with us. Thank you again for joining. We're on day four looking at the little Old Testament prophet Jonah and we're thinking about the God of the second chance. I want to read from Jonah chapter four verses one, two and three. And we're doing this week in the form of soap. That is, we read a scripture, that's S, then we have an observation, a reflection on it. A is application, and P, we finish with a simple prayer. Jonah 4, verse 1. This change of plans greatly upset Jonah, and he became very angry. So he complained to the Lord about it. Didn't I say before I left home that you would do this, Lord? That's why I ran away to Tarshish. I knew that you are a merciful and compassionate God, slow to get angry and filled with unfeeling love. You are eager to turn back from destroying people. Just kill me now, Lord. I'd rather be dead than alive if what I predicted will not happen. <laughs> Aha, and now we come to it. Here it is. Here is the reason why Jonah ran away from his calling. The explanation for why he bought a ticket to Spain against divine travel advice. I knew you would forgive them. In fact, this conversation between God and Jonah has been going on for some time. He didn't flee because God was cruel or mean. He didn't run because he was afraid himself of the cruel Ninevites and what they might do to him. No, Jonah ran away because what narked him off was that God was merciful, compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with everlasting love. Lord, we have had this conversation before, before I bought the one-way ticket to Tarshish. In fact, not only is Jonah furious with God for being the God of love, now even worse, Jonah the prophet, God's spokesperson, is going to end up with egg on his face. Kill me now, God. I'd rather suffer uh, I'd rather die than suffer the embarrassment of my prophecy not coming true. I said you'd destroy Nineveh in 40 days, and now it's not going to happen. What a situation to get himself into. Well, how does this apply to your life and mine? Tomorrow, on our last day in the book of Jonah, we'll look more closely at what Jonah reveals to us about the heart of God. But for now, what does it or what might it reveal about me? Is there anything in Jonah that might remind me or highlight in me some of the worst of who I am, but who God calls me to really be? I've got three very simple things I want to share with you before we finish. Number one, Jonah hated his enemies, but Christ teaches us to love them. In Jonah, we see elements of bigotry, even perhaps racism. He didn't want to preach judgment to them, not because he didn't want them to be destroyed, but that he understood that because of the character and quality of God, that preaching judgment might lead the people to repent. And if they repented and turned from their sin, it would lead God to forgive them. Maybe in this world there are people that you hate. It may be individuals or a family or even a type of person. Those foreigners coming over here and taking all our jobs. It may be that there are those that not only do you not forgive or have you not been willing to forgive but actually, like Jonah with regard to the Ninevites, you wish them evil, not good. Jonah hated his enemies, but Christ says, love your enemies. Secondly, Jonah was more concerned with his reputation than with God's. He was more concerned with his own reputation than with God's. Jesus said, if you want to be the greatest, you must become 
the least. For the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Speaking of himself, Christ declared, I did not come to be served, but to serve and give my life as a ransom for many. We are called to let go, to lay down our own concerns, my concerns over my reputation, to follow Jesus, who was not concerned to, about his own reputation, but gave it all up and became a human and went to die on a cross for you and me. Jonah was more concerned with his reputation than with God's. And thirdly, Jonah loved himself more than he loved God or his neighbours. This is difficult, isn't it? When asked to sum up the law, Jesus declared quite straightforwardly, the law is summed up in the following way. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength and mind and love your neighbour as you love yourself. Maybe like Jonah, you and I have a long way to go. But I am called, as you are, to learn from Jonah and to live like Jesus. I am called to learn from Jonah and to live like Jesus. What a shame if today I simply continue to learn from Jesus and live like Jonah. Which are you? Learning from Jonah and living like Jesus or learning from Jesus and living like Jonah. Let's pray and ask God to change our hearts to be more like the heart of Jesus. Father, I'm afraid that I see too much of Jonah in my own heart and not enough of Jesus. Lord, where there is prejudice, bigotry or racism, please root it out. If there are those who I hate, Soften my heart, so I may learn to love and forgive. Lord, you know that often I am more concerned with my reputation than with yours. Thank you, Jesus, for wrapping a towel around your waist and becoming a servant. May I learn to be the least with joy in my heart. Lord, I desire to love you with all my heart and to love others as you love me. Today, Lord, help me to learn from Jonah and to live more like Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Do come back on our last day of Life Connect as we reflect on what this little story of Jonah tells us about the heart of God. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.